hey, it's Wolfie Chen. Wait, wait, definitely subscribe. That that big red button, subscribe. I am back with another manga review. This one was kind of a little bit on the fence for me because I didn't know if I should or not. I don't know. I had to think about it and I decided why not? Pleasure and corruption. This manga is very interesting and be careful what you wish for kind of scenario. So we follow our main character Zen who is basically stifled at home. He's getting bad grades. His parents are like done with it. Mostly his dad. And his only simple pleasure in this world is taking panty shots from unsuspecting women and a lot of them if I'm correct. And of course he's been doing this for a while and that's the only satisfaction he can get. His parents aren't helping him, he feels stressed out, he's going through this, that, doing this and that, trying his best, and it's it's not cutting out for him. Can't blame him. Why would I? But I will blame that you should maybe not do the panty shots, my bro. Maybe that's that's the line you shouldn't cross. Well, he crossed the wrong lady. And because this book starts off with talking about bondage masters, you can see where this is going to lead really quickly. He takes a picture of Ayame, and she notices. And she takes his phone and is like, we are going to go to the police or the um, station guards, whoever, and I'm going to figure out if you're doing this to me. And he freaks out. He doesn't want anyone to know. This is his guilty pleasure. This is the one thing that he doesn't want people to know about. So he begs Ayame, like, hey, um, hmm, please, begs on the floor, by the way, very Japanese, head touching the ground, please do not tell anybody, it's my bad, I will do anything for you not to, and she's like, anything? Are you sure about that? Absolutely anything. Well, alright, here's your phone back, but you're coming with me. They go up to basically the top of the building, and she's like, I'm gonna give you your punishment. And he's like, mm, okay. And gets tied up by a bondage master that she is. He's uncomfortable, not into this at all, but he did say anything. And the thing is, it continues for multiple chapters, of course, and I'm not the biggest fan of it being not a one and done deal. But, once again, he said anything and he didn't put a contingency of I will do anything for like two days straight. No, he said anything and left it at that. Which, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever get a genie's lamp or anything, please put a contingency. Or, if you ever get in trouble and you're like, I will do anything within reason. Anything for a day. Anything for the moment. Some sort of timer so you don't end up like poor Zen the rest of this book. But she gets tied up in multiple different ways across school, everything in different ways as well. It really interested me because I'm kind of into that, but I also wasn't fully intrigued enough to get the second volume. If you didn't know, this is the first one. I haven't gotten the second one or anything, and I believe it's been a year. I believe there's more volumes to this, but. There's something about when she ends up like tying him up and then someone's coming so she puts a bag over him and uses him as a beanbag chair and then almost reveals it's him that I was kind of like, that's cool, it's this voyeurism to a T. Uh, I don't, I don't know about this. I really don't. Uh, but it happens and he doesn't get caught. So it's a very interesting scenario and kind of cool, but I don't know if I want to continue. I only bought the first volume and now I'm kind of like, do I continue? So if you like this video, definitely leave a like. Tell me in the comments below, have you read this and have you read the volumes? Is it worth giving more of a go or should I stop here for my own sanity? That will definitely help me. And don't forget to subscribe that big red button for more anime, manga, something new, something old, something different. And my socials are down below as well. 
I hope that you've been having a wonderful day. Wolfie Chan out. Bye.